man, that the GBA startup sound is one of the sweetest sounds known to man. Almost as good as this Game Freak logo, which they didn't keep for at all. But hey, remember Pokemon? That small thing, that tiny franchise? Man, I just jumped right, right from Digimon to Pokemon, didn't I? I apologize. Actually, I don't. So, hello everyone. Welcome to my Let's Remember of Pokemon Leaf Green. Why is it a Let's Remember? Because, like, I am tentatively excited for Let's Go Pokemon. Uh, of course, I'm getting the Pikachu version because, hey, that's that's cooler. Uh, and I want to remember Kanto. I haven't been here for a while, and uh, you know what? Now is as good a time as any. Let's hop in. We're playing Leaf Green because that is the version people told me to play. For some reason, I was doing a Twitch Plays Pokemon-inspired run when I last had this. I don't know why. So, we're gonna start a new game. And, uh, this... I forgot how beginner-friendly this is. We don't need to know much about this. Uh, we understand how to play Pokemon, so we will hop right in. I will not be acting like you don't know what Pokemon is. Because we do. In fact, I'm not going to be reading most of the text. This will mostly be me addressing Gen 1 as it is. Now, mind you, I know this is not technically Gen 1. People will say this is technically Gen 3, which, I mean, game-wise it is. But I always say, like, like I call Heart Gold Soul Silver Gen 2 because it's, it's, it's about the generation of Pokemon. So I'm going to be a boy. Because probably in Let's Go, I'll be a girl. Because I like the girl character more, so we're going to be a boy. Plus, I mean, Red is iconic. So what is our name? If we don't type in anything, do we get a name given to us? Jo no, I'm not John. <laughs> Some call me Johnny. I'm not John Non Non. Why is it John with two ends now? Ralph? Nah, man. What are some of these, these default names? K. It's not really a masculine name, unless it's short for something. Kaz? Kazahira Miller? It's not him, but... Cayman, that's not a name. Why are they all starting with K or J? Green. No. Um, well, I guess I should be red. Um... Sure. For the sake of consistency, and he is a technical established character at this point, we shall be read it- Should we be all capitals? Yeah, it's an old school game. Your name is Red, yes. My parents were very cruel. This is my grandson. He's a jerk. What was his name? Is Gary an option? No, right, because in- in- it's supposed to be the other way around. Um, well your name in the West is Blue. But in Japan is green. So we're going to keep you with your consistent name even though it doesn't make as much sense. You are canon characters by this point. He is blue. Which is again, really a depressing name to name your child. The color of depression. We're going to go on a Pokemon adventure. Let's go. So yes, uh, as I said, I'm kind of looking forward to looking at this through more older eyes. Through more learned eyes. Through the eyes of someone who has been, you know, playing Pokemon for a good while. Like, I know there's this potion here. So, for context, I've played through Kanto probably about five times. I've played through Fire Red, I think twice. Leaf Green, no, wait, no. I definitely played Pokemon Blue a bunch of times. I've played Pokemon Yellow. I pl there's a lot. So, okay. Well, thankfully, we know exactly where to go here. This is going to be fast. I'm not going to be expl- If you want, I do recommend, if you've never watched, find a Let's Play of someone who's never played Pokemon. It will be an enriching experience. Um, who was it? The, well, um, Nintendo Capri Sun's Pokemon Sapphire, that's eye-opening. Um... Who else is there? I don't know of many others, but I do... Well, if they're open to learning new games, um, there's some, like, oh man, um, awesome video games. They tried to do it with X and Y, and it was, it was bad. It was horrible. It was, 
actually depressing. So we can each have a Pokemon. Um, I don't know which one I want, so I do have a spinner here that will inform me of my choice. So we will uh, choose, so we, we have our three options here. Now, unless one of them is shiny, which I don't know if they can be right here. So let's go. Spinning. And the answer, I just typed in blue, green, or red, and the answer is blue. We are going with a Squirtle, who I do like. I like water types. Squirtle, yes, I do enjoy a good Squirtle. It's really energetic. We got the Squirtman, and we are going to be nicknaming our Pokemon. I was thinking of doing a Nuzlocke because I've never really done a Nuzlocke before, and then I realized the Gen 1 Nuzlocke would suck because you need to catch Pokemon. Uh, and have them in your Pokedex to have it be, like, to get items. So, as such, yeah, no, I'm deciding to not. Um, who? so he is a squirting turtle. It's a grrr boy? Boy. Um, you know what? No, that doesn't, I was gonna say Makoto after the Blaze Blue, uh, sorry, Blay Blue character, but that's, I was thinking more squirrel than turtle. Um... Hmm, me, 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 me. Let's see here. You know what? No, I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm gonna name him after YouTubers. I know I did that once already. Um, I'll get back. Okay, so I found a Pokemon name generator that just randomly generates fake Pokemon names. And I love this name. It's actually kind of cool. So his name will be... Warutor. There we go. It's like water turtle. Yes. And he's going to be like, I'm going to take boring idiot takes Bulbasaur. <laughs> that was my plan all along. Bulbasaur is the worst of the starters. Well, you can't even fight me on that. Well, Pokemon appears you can battle it, and this dude's going to be like, hey. So I've lost this battle more times than I'd like to admit um, to a point where I just one day decided to. I think there was one time where like I'm gonna do a Nuzlocke and then I lost here and I'm like that's it. I'm never never doing a Nuzlocke. All right. Okay, you never had a Pokemon battle. I wonder if he knows how to do it. This thing that is cultural. Okay, I shouldn't be too angry. This is at this point a you know now it's a cultural phenomenon, but this was the first time we saw it, and for many kids their first uh, RPG. This does... No, I don't want to switch. No. Can I get... I, I, I want to see if I get the info, but I guess pressing select doesn't give me the info. So I do want to lower their stats. Okay, show of hands. Who as a kid never dealt with Pokemon stats and just wanted attacks? So I'm just going to let you know right now, I'm really bad. And by the end, by I, I'm going to start the game being stat conscious. And then by the end, I'm going to be like, no, I just want as many attacks as I can. I'm pretty bad. Ya boy did it. He's level 6. It looks a bit like Naruto if I squint. And I'm actually... It looks like Naruto. -er. Now I'm actually kind of mad about this choice. Oh well. He gave me about 8 cents. So we literally got his pocket change. Thanks, dude. I'm sure we'll be friendly rivals. And absolutely not learn to hate each other and then love each other as bros who travel to Hawaii together. On a totally heterosexual mandate. So, um, don't forget. I always forget. Talk to his sister. Chat up, chat up Blue's sister. Oh, does she not give the map? Oh, right, we have to come back. So, she gives you the map, which is kind of useful. I do recommend it. If you don't ever get the map, you will, um... Copy what I said, I'm on the trainer tip signs. Oh, wow, okay, press start. Okay, thank you. Um, if you don't ever get the map, then when you fly, you will get it. This dude gives you an item, because of course he does. He's like, it's like, we're gonna give you a free sample. Because that's what they do, I guess. They just have people walking around in forests saying, Hey, kids, would you like a free sample? Oh, it's a Rattatter! I actually, as a kid, called it Rattat... What was... What did... Rat Ratterta was what I called it. Because, of course, I just listened to what they called it in the show. I didn't actually call it what... It was. I couldn't read. That said, Pokemon taught me how to read. If you've watched my playthroughs of Pokemon Sapphire or XD, both of which I do recommend, they were both very good, um, you'd know that I have many stories about Pokemon. But yeah, no, it was Pokemon uh, Silver, even though I got gold first, Silver was the one I put more time into, uh, that taught me how to read, which was a big deal. 
because I went from, well, number one, I didn't know how to save, so I played the intros over and over, and I'd have my family try and read it to me. And uh, through that, I started to pick up words, started to pick up phrases, and it was really good. The impact of Pokemon on my generation is huge. You can't even deny that. I mean, you can, but you'd be wrong. So let us go and get, yes, more level ups. We got Bubble, our first elemental move, which will give us Stab. Same type attack bonus. I don't think Nintendo ever used the phrase Stab uh, for obvious reason, but uh, for us, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's a good acronym to remember. So we are going to go get Oak's Parcel because he does not have Pokey Amazon Prime. Will this still be a thing? Because it's kind of weird that it just doesn't ship to his house. Was it a was was it a missed you know sale or something? I don't know. Uh, maybe this was the only way he could get points at the Pokemart or something. So this guy's like, "Hey, you came from Pallet Town?" And we're like, "Yeah, man." And uh, we got his order, his parcel, what is inside? I don't know actually. Um, so we're gonna go and bring that back to him because if we try to leave to the north There's an old man up there. Is he lying down? Is he yeah, he's the weird lying down sprite So he's an old drunk old man in this one. He's cranky in Japan. He's drunk um, But of course he can't have that it's a kids game except in Japan where the work work culture of getting drunk is completely normal. I Mean it's interesting the you know I'd say Pokemon's Japanese-ness peaked in Gen 2, which took place in a very, very Japanese region with all sorts of... Don't be shiny. Okay. I actually did find a shiny Pidgey in a uh, copy of Fire Red in my last Fire Red playthrough, which was cool. Um, shiny Pidgey is just slightly off from, from regular Pidgey, so it's very tough to tell. I couldn't even tell because I was grinding and I actually was like, that looks slightly different, but I'm too afraid. I didn't see the sparkle. So I caught it as a safety measure and yes, it was shiny. And I was like, oh, so that was cool. Um, yeah, Pokemon's Japan has definitely peaked in Gen 2, but there's a lot of it in Gen 1 that you really only get from, from these games. Like for instance, uh, the fact that Kanto is in fact a real place. Uh, it's not like the other regions, which are, you know, slightly based on, on the regions. No, no, Kanto's a real region, and I remember, uh, it was an old, an old anime, uh, magazine that had a thing, I think it was for, for Desert Punk, the anime, which is not a kid-friendly anime. Oh, it's a custom Pokeball, because of course, um... But they had a thing talking about how it took place in the desert of Kanto, and I was like, what? in Pokemon world and no it's it's just a real place so that's really cool um and then later on they got a little more coy they're like it's not it's not you know this area it's Johto so and nowadays we just have all sorts of different regions around the world which I do like um though I do miss um Ore a lot being just just Arizona which hey that counts so uh, we are going to try and catch as many as we can uh, mostly because you need to in this game. This is the only Pokemon game that highly encourages you to catch them all. Oh yeah, this is where you have to get the, the, the town map from the sister. It really encourages you to catch them all, more so than in any other generation, which, I mean, I'd say it's feasible in this game, but it's actually really not. Mostly because you have no trading options if you don't have friends, so that sucks. And hey, we got a town map, but it's not just any town map, it's super high-tech, so if we take a look... Is it in the bag? Oh man, remember when it was in the bag before? There it is, it's like a tablet thing, so we're gonna go here, 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 and then we're gonna go down, we're gonna skip this area, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, and then we can either go here or here, but I might go... Wait, no, you go here, you have a million dig... No, you go this way, then you go back, and then, right, then you go this way, and here, right, okay, yes, and then you have this road as like an extra road that I never really go on, you have there, and then you have there, and then you have there, not to mention there's some stuff around here, so that's, that's about, it's about the plan, Stan, let's do this. Oh, this, this one does have a bunch of like, very interesting, weird items that you don't really, um, Remember as much like anyone remember the teachy TV also 
Yeah, I'll give you heal my Pokemon real fast. Do you give me the running shoes yet? No. Oh, I think you get after the first badge. That's painful. Also, so if you can't tell, uh, you am playing on the GameCube through the Game Boy Player. I could play this on the Wii with my Wii 2 HDMI adapter and that will look really nice. I could play this on a computer and have that be like that pixel perfect look and that look nice. But honestly, to me, there's nothing better than playing an actual Pokemon game on the actual cartridge because of that forward compatibility, the ability to then take these Pokemon and move them all the way up to Gen 8 when I'm done. I love that. You know, I know some people don't care. Some people play Pokemon on their phone. I mean, aside from Pokemon Go, but we'll get to that in a sec. Like playing Pokemon emulators on your phone, I don't feel right. I don't feel right emulating Pokemon. I definitely feel like it's a series that's made to be played on the original hardware. Uh, well, not hardware, but software at least. Uh, you know, I can't do a really a Game Boy Let's Play, except I remember my dad bought an aftermarket device for the Game Boy Advance. But, but when I was on the DS, my sister got my Game Boy Advance, which was fine because I had the Game Boy Advance slot. But I remember getting it, or him getting it, and it was like you replace the entire back of the... Is it still on? I think it's still on. I'm looking at my GBA over there. It's totally still on it. The back is replaced with like a fake back. And on that fake back is like on the side, kind of where you put your hands. There's a bunch of like, um, what are those called? Like chips sticking out. And you're supposed to slot it into a bottom piece that charges your DS or charges your Game Boy at the same time. Um, can I buy 10 and get, do I get Premier Balls in this? Nope. Um, so you buy, you know, you kind of do it like that. You plug, you plug this whole base into the bottom, almost like a game pad sort of thing. And then that, that base connects up to the TV. And so, yeah, like it's a, it's a weird system. And it was meant to allow you to play the Game Boy on the TV. Here's the thing. I already had the Game Boy player at this point because he said, oh, you know, your sister want to play it on the TV, not on the handheld, which totally defeats the purpose of it being a handheld, but okay. Uh, sure, we'll go with this girl, Rattatter. So we're gonna, as I said, try and get as many as we can. Um, I know roughly what all Pokemon are on this route. Um, so, hey, shoutouts to being able to weaken Pokemon before you throw Pokeballs. That's a good feature. It's a shame it's gone. Well, for Let's Go. I still stand by. That if Let's Go stays as a spin-off and more of a sequel to Go than a sequel to, um, you know, a, a new Pokemon game, then you know what? Hey, that's fine. Okay, let's get a randomizer going for this this one again. So this is going to be Pokemon names. Um, let's go with... Okay. So it is... Which, no, that, that's a bad name because it's a girl. I was going to be Manaros, but that doesn't work. So Yak. These are going to be the weirdest names uh, when I transfer them forward in, in 20 years. I'm going to be like, why did I name it that? Actually, I'll remember. So we got Soyak there. Um, We can get a Pidgey later, I think. So let's... See. Oh, I forgot about this weird Pokedex. How it, like, divides it up by their type. I forgot about that. So where can, can we get... So we can't get Pidgey in the next area, too. So yeah, we'll, 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 get, we'll get that after. So we don't need to get a, get a Pidgey here. All right, so... We are no longer on the road to Viridian City. In fact, we are leaving Viridian City, but except we're going to go to the Pokemon League for a brief spell uh, because there are some Pokemon over here on Route 22 I really want to get, one of which will be our first fighting type because, boy, geez, do I need him. He's really... Wait, is he in this gen? I know he's in yellow. I don't know if he's in the... Hey, yeah, he's definitely here. So we already got a Rattatter. We're good. I'm going to kill it, though. Get, get its stats up. So if this was a Nuzlocke, A, I'd have to catch the first Pokemon of every area. Uh, except some of them have the dupes rule, so meaning you, if you duplicate, like, like if you, if say I got this Rattata again, right? Like I did. Um, because I already have a Rattata, I wouldn't get another. Uh, which is good, except for the fact that, like, there's not many Pokemon, so I'd be looking for a while. 
Also a no grinding rule. Yeah, so I looked at the rules of Nuzlocke and I'm like, nah, that ain't for me. I'm just gonna do a regular, semi-expedited playthrough, mostly because we all know this generation. I want to just remember some of the later parts. The opening parts of Gen 1, I know like the back of my hand. I could probably close my eyes and play it. <gasps> there he is! He's only level 2 and it's a girl, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna tackle it. <gasps> good, good enough. Mankey is a good Pokemon to get early, mostly because when we're in caves and stuff, there'll be rock Pokemon. You know, we want to do rock Pokemon, we gotta karate chop them. Also, I think the catch rate is very low for this dude, so I might switch out to that Rattata. If it doesn't kill it, then we can just hit it very lightly. Please use Leer again. Thank you. It might only have Leer at this point. Do you only have Leer? Or you have Tackle? Oh no! Well, that's super embarrassing, but you might actually be super powerful. Um, okay, well, we gotta find another Mankey then. Onward! Okay, second try. Let's do this. Also level 9 now, so I'm a lot more powerful, but hopefully we don't kill it! Okay, whoa. That's close. Um... Night! Mispress the buttons! Oh, GameCube D pad, you are a fickle mistress. Well, hey, there's another one right away, though. And hey, we got a boy! That's not. It's not casual sexism or anything. I'm not cheering for the fact that it's. it's hey, but this is good, though, because then if we bubble again, since it's under half, that means we should. Unless Torrent activates, which I don't think it will. I hate how difficult this is. I take it back. Pokemon Go style throwing the ball and being done with it might actually be an improvement. Except not. I don't know. There's something about the fact that you won't be able to train, period, which kind of gets me worried. Um, I know it's just me being a worry wart. I mean, people did make the point that I love XD. And, like, that game specifically does not have any form of wild poke. Well, okay, there's the the one form of wild Pokemon with the poke food, but that doesn't really count. But, like, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to throw the ball. Um, how that one, yeah, that one came out good. But then that one has, like, the capture and battle mechanics, so I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know. Did we get you? Hey, Saru, get you! Your name shall be... Do a refresh here. So we have Bufferoon, Batone, Chikotic, Hyenor, Doombill, Voltmite, Whirlipede... Okay, so we're gonna go with Bufferoon because that one... That one sounds like it could be your name. I hate how these sound like they could be real Pokemon names. You're Buffaroon, because he's like a balloon bully buffalo. He's a monkey. He's a mankey. I do like how in Gen 1, a lot of the names come down to, let's just take the animal name and slightly mess it up. Like, mankey, which is monkey. Or prime ape, putting those words together. Or, or... Arbok being Cobra backwards, and you know where this joke is going, and I'm gonna stop it now because that joke has been made so many times. It is 2018, please get new material. Or seal, which is just a seal. Ah, uh, cool, so. We got a D team so far. Could be better, of course, but hey. Um, I Why did I say it could be better? It really can't. We have a pretty pretty good team. Yeah, wow, the um the control stick, I forgot how weird this is to so play this in gen run with it. Okay, can we can we sneak by ya? No. Red box, you're working on your Pokedex. I thought Pokedexes were like this crazy thing that people aren't supposed to have and or know about, but I guess not. It did surprise me as a kid to learn that the Pokedex is not something every trainer has, uh, which I thought it was the case. And no, before you ask, you cannot re-watch this dude do it and then fly to Cinnabar and surf the coast. I did that a lot as a kid. Mostly because I wanted all those rare candies. And, um, whew, that, that does break the game. Can you do that in... The virtual console version? 
Because if so, can't you then like transfer those Pokemon or does it glitch up your game and then it won't let you anymore? It might be the case. Yeah, the Teachy TV, it's a TV that teaches you how to play the game, which is weird that you don't start the game with it. It's literally just take this small CRT in your backpack. And yeah, so it's very, very, very basic stuff. Uh, there is a misspelling in it where they call Pidgey the tiny Pokemon instead of the tiny bird Pokemon. God, I am a loser. Okay, so there's definitely some new Pokemon here. I think this is where you get Nidorino Nidoran. And it's a Pidgey. It's a bird Pokemon. I think we'll get this bird. Because I like the birds. Uh, like the movie by Alfred Hitchcock. Oh god, we're gonna have to try and grind for a Pikachu, aren't we? I forgot how tough it is. I remember as a kid, we thought that there was a there was a set place where like you could find Pikachu in each game, but that's totally not the case. It's just a low catch rate or a low find rate. So Pidgey here will be named. Um... Oh, there's a bird type name right there. It's like it it's. Starus. There we go. It's like a, it's like a grouse. Even though Pidgey's meant to be a pigeon. Um, is there any? I think there are the Nidorans here. I'm fairly certain. I could be super wrong. That might be in the next screen up above. So you know, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll go in. So, as we head into the Viridian Forest, where the spookiest of spooky stuff happens, um, I should probably go, he he yeah, I'll go heal quickly now that I got Staruz, because I can, uh, have him get, uh, some flying type moves, hopefully on some of these buggos, big buggos, and, uh, one thing I have to remember is to not play this as I played it as a kid, which is essentially grinding up your starter to be the strongest of the strong, and not having a balanced team. I'm really bad for that. In fact, I am terrible for actually trying to play Pokemon in a balanced way, which might be why I have trouble with Gen 1. I find Gen 1 to be quite the difficult Pokemon game compared to some of the later ones. Uh, Gen 1, to me, has feelings of... like, the Elite Four? feel so much more powerful than you even though they really aren't like level wise they're only slightly above but you feel like you're none of your attacks hurt even with your legendary bards do any of you give items rattata may bite don't stick your fingers near its face it's a natural maze in there don't get lost okay it's actually not that bad it's so not bad there are many regions in the world that just copy its layout there's an antidote under this tree. I didn't even remember that was there. I just guessed. Uh, so this is this is the spot where we would always grind for Pikachu, thinking it's got to be right here, right? That's a Caterpie. It's a Caterpie. Why are all the Pokemon I'm getting girls? Actually, level four is not bad for where we're at right now. I will I will definitely try and take that. I think you can find a very, very low shot of a wild Butterfree. It's very rare, but it's a possibility. I do also miss the ability to get EXP from also getting when you, when you throw the Pokeball. That's like a small feature that's just nice. I did enjoy that. You're going to die. So we'll send out uh, Bafaroon. And we'll learn if he even has an attack. The answer is, yes, he is Scratch. Please no kill. Kill no kill. Don't lose your health. Come on. Okay, good. It's actually way weaker than I thought it'd be. No, it's, uh, Bufferoon and Mankeys in general are very much a Pokemon I'd needed to use as a crutch for many of these opening areas. Um, especially if you're going to Brock's gym, uh, with, with a Pikachu in, in yellow. Because, oh boy, you don't have any Pokemon that can be that can get that, and it's not like there's many water types you can get. So, that's uh, that's a definite thing you have to think about. I honestly never really got a Caterpie and trained it up to be a Butterfree. 
whose name will be... Oh god, none of these are great. I'm gonna get another shuffle. Okay, one, one more, one more sh shuffle. Oh, no, that doesn't work. One more shuffle. Oh, jeez. Um, none of these work for, for it at all. Is there any, is there any that makes sense for a butterfly? There, these are the worst. It, okay, now I'm looking at it, it's totally just shuffling Pokemon names, which honestly I'm fine with. Um, but wow, none of these make sense. There you go, we got one. And yes, it actually does kind of already work out to be what it is, which is fine. It's mana free! Because he, it's low, low MP cost, hey hey! Um, what do we got here? Answer, a Weedle. I thought those were version exclusives, but I guess not. Um, so yeah, we'll also get Weedle, even though we'll only... We'll never use the Weedle here. Um, Beedrill is cool. Mega Beedrill is super cool. But, um, it's kind of bad? Um, though he does have Poison Sting, which is nice. Uh, poison is really good. Um, getting Toxic is something I want to definitely try and work towards, because, um, yeah. Toxic is, uh, well, Toxic, like, Poison's good, but Toxic is amazing. Um, that's a move that I... Also, if this was a Nuzlocke, Soyak would be dead right now, because unless I use the Antidote, which I honestly wouldn't want to use, there's no way he'll survive back to the Pokemon Center. Let's see here. Um, so we're gonna give you the name. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a name from the first page. I'm not gonna care too much. That's a good one. This... Suz. That'd be a good name if I evolved you. I actually kind of like that. Um, okay. So let us head back to the Pokemon Center now that we got some new Pokemon. We have 5 HP. I think it's 4 HP. 3 HP. He's gonna die. 2 HP. 1 HP. RIP! So he's dead. Uh, that's no longer a feature in new Pokemon games. In fact, it used to be your Pokemon would always survive with 1 HP, uh, for a little while. And now it's like, no, sorry, they're... They're fine. Um, so yes, yeah, so let us go heal up. And then make our way! Well, we'll go back to the Viridian Forest, and I think we'll probably call it a place there. So that's where we're going. This is going to be a very different Let's Play. Normally, I take things slowly. I'm like, let's let's play through and see what this is like. But considering I've gone through Gen 1 so many times, and want to just kind of remind myself what this is like. Like, this is the speed I would play it at now, if I was casually playing it. And it's because I, I am so used to this, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, no, Soyak would be dead if this was Nuzlocke. Thankfully, it's not. Soyak lives. Um, that sounds like the subtitle of a made-to-DVD Disney movie. Uh, the, the, oh, what's, what's the movie that never got a sequel? Um, uh, Treasure Planet 2. Soyak lives. So, we'll be going around the Viridian Force next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going to do this adventure rather quickly, and that's okay. We'll see you next time for some more, guys. Ciao.